Hi folks and uh, hello motorhomers and anyone else that's interested. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little run tour of my van and a little rundown of a few of the mods that I've made on it since I've owned it. Um, so, start at the beginning, it's, a, it's an 05 Fiat Ducato 2.8 turbo diesel. Um, I bought it in 2011 with 10,000 miles on the clock and I've added another 15,000. So it's sitting on about 25 now. Um, runs as sweet as a nut, really does run nicely. Uh, the only things I've done to it mechanically were, um, because it stood for some time, I replaced the cam belt and the tyres and gave it a, a, a thorough good servicing. And uh, like I say, she hasn't missed a beat. One of the first things I bought on recommendation of a friend was this Taylor Made, uh, is the company. Um, windscreen cover and side cover and I have to say it's brilliant I've had that three years now and it works fantastically it keeps all the heat out of the van when it's hot outside and keeps the heat in when it's cold outside so it stops all the condensation as well it's good, good piece of kit I can recommend that so she's a Swift Contiki 650 two berth uh, van um, 24 foot long since I've owned it, I've kept very accurate records of fuel consumption and things like that. And considering I do a fair amount of towing, 26 to the gallon is uh, pretty respectable, I think, really. Um, so, got a little storage cubby there for ramps and other uh, stuff that, you know, doesn't matter if it gets wet. Jacks and a few hand tools and bits and bobs in there. Then we go around to the back and um, the previous owner I think used this van to take some old classic motorbikes to shows and things like that and he, he made this platform which was massive when he made it um, so I, I took it off cut it all down and now I put my little disability uh, electric scooter on there um, to get around with so I've got a bit of restricted mobility so I've got a little go pad that helps me around the place and it fits on that platform lovely so that's what I did there I also replaced as much of the lighting as possible with our, uh, LED lighting. All down my, my running lights down the sides are all LED. Uh, all my back lights uh, had a reversing camera fitted, which I have switched on all the time because I can't see out the back. So I have it as a, a rear view camera, uh, rear view mirror as well, which it works really well at. So quite good. Might upgrade it to a one that tilts though. So. We'll see. But I managed with it up to now, so. Um, then one of, well, I've got my, uh, obviously, it's a Fiamma full canopy. Um, one of the first things I did um, after our first trip in France, we realised that getting gas was a problem. Um, I bought these 11 kg uh, content um, bottles, uh, Alu gas bottles which are refillable at LPG stations and there's plenty of those around France uh, you just need the correct adapter and then you can buy your gas and fill up and uh, I've, so far I've never had a problem getting gas um, filled them many times as I've used it up and uh, yeah it works quite well that's the that's the French adapter there that round one that comes off and then you're left with this piece here which is the UK adapter uh, so with this setup, I went for a very, very simple layout. Just two loose bottles, and I swapped the pipe between the two. When, when one gas bottle runs out, I swap it over to the other one. I didn't want electronic switchover valves and all that sort of stuff. I wanted a simple, basic layout that would be reliable. And in three years, yes, it has been. So, as I say, I've never struggled to get gas, and it's... Uh, it's plain as it's simple. The bottle lasts me easily a month when I'm full timing, so uh, it's pretty good, not too bad. Um, as I say, I like to do my cooking outside, uh, eating outside as well when the, when the weather's suitable. It's rather nice. There's my my little scooters under that cover. Um, then we have a under under bed storage here um, 
so when I go to my motorbike meetings and things like that, I, I can take my little Honda Jenny with me, just just to get get you out of trouble thing really, uh, peace of mind more than actual use, but it's there and uh, I have used it and it has got me out of out of a fix, so yeah, it's paid for itself already really. So yeah, keep spare parts under there for my scooters and other other stuff that we carry around with us. So moving to the inside. I say it's a two berth van. Um with no fixed bed or anything like that, but when I'm travelling I have it as a fixed bed. Um this this seating area here makes up a full bed which is massive. Um you can sleep in it crossways, long ways an angle if you want diagonally please yourself it's massive but i usually just have when i'm traveling alone i have this like two-thirds set up here so i don't have to make a bed up every day and then i i lounge around here when i'm when i'm just sitting in the van so there we have it um up to the front there we have i've had cruise control fitted which again i found very helpful for me with my with my restricted movement it's um yeah it's good especially especially over in france you can just set it and let let it get on with it um, really good probably helps with fuel consumption as well a little bit of over cab storage bedding more storage um, and although i say this van is actually a two berth um these seats here are, are belted they have seat belts fitted and um so you could you can seat four you can safely travel with four up in the van. So I suppose if you had a couple of children that were of an age where they could safely sleep in a tent outside, um, although the van's rated as a two berth, you could bring them along with you and chuck them out when the when it gets night time. <laughs> so, um, Truma boiler with uh, blown warm air heating and hot water, obviously. I can get hot water off hookup or gas, but I can't get heating from get from hookup. I have to use my gas for heating, so hence the refillable bottles really. More storage. And galley area is like many Swift Contiki's of this era, I suspect. Um, pull out drawers, pots and pans, um, there's a grill, full oven and three burner stove with a with an electric um, hob on, on there as well. Um, we did have a microwave but we never used it so I took it out. Pointless carrying that thing around. Um, I can get I think it's about 100 litres of water on board if I need it. I never do obviously but um, you, you could last a long time in this van if you wanted to. If you've tanked everything up you could probably go for at least four or five days um, being self-sufficient. So I recently fitted a uh, TV bracket so that I can just swing the telly in and out as uh, as I as I want to and it saves packing it all away. Uh, one of the things, one of the reasons we bought this van or we, one of the things we wanted was a, a full fridge freezer and um, the Swift Contiki 650 has one and it's great. You can really you know you can go for quite a few days once that's full i can last about a week on shopping on one shop um, as long as i buy carefully and freeze what i need and so on and then we're to the back um the full that full width bathroom uh full shower which is actually really really good it's brilliant shower um and I, it's so good, I prefer to use it than the ones on site in many cases. Um, and that's what it's there for, but you know, it's there to be used, so I use it. La Toilette, and a little bit of clothing storage. I'm always conscious that at the back end of the van here, this is the overhang area, so I try and keep it light. Um, my sergeant distribution unit, uh, power supply unit. And uh, a little bit more cupboard storage there for cleaning, cleaning stuff and so on. And have a sliding door for the bathroom. Um, so it's private when you want it to be private for changing or washing or whatever you want to do in there. 
and then my control panel there. So that's it really, that is my Swift Contiki 650 and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you were looking for a motorhome it might help you choose which one to buy. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.